Tonight is the special election for Senate in Massachusetts. Democrat Ed Markey is facing off against Republican Gabriel Gomez. And so far, uh, Markey is the very heavily favored uh, front runner. All the polls in recent weeks have shown him ahead, some by very wide margins. Um, and Gomez uh, has worked very hard to make up for that deficit, but um, particularly with the heat today and the low turnout, it could be a tough one. For Gabriel Gomez to win tonight, what has to happen is he really has to pick up a substantial number of votes, and not just Republican votes, but independent votes in the suburbs around Boston, particularly, particularly what we call the 495 stretch. That's because he's going to have to make up for an inherent advantage that a Democrat like Markey is going to have in and around Boston, which is typically much more liberal than some of the suburbs. For Ed Markey to win, he has a lot less to do, so to speak, than Gomez does. He said the backing of the Democratic establishment right from the beginning, and he also now has the operation, field operational efforts and the get out the vote um, machine, so to speak, of the Democrats that has propelled a number of candidates to victory before him, Elizabeth Warren, Deval Patrick. Those people are out there in force today, making sure that voters not only say they're going to vote, but actually get to the polls and wait at the polls at the there's a line. So far, though, turnout has been extremely low, and that could spell trouble for Gomez, who needs to make up these numbers in the final hours that the polls are open. As of 3 p.m., the numbers were really surprising. In Boston, we're talking about 12.5 percent of people who had cast ballots. To put that a little bit into context, by that time, by 3 p.m. in the 2010 special election, more than 22 percent of voters had cast ballots. So really, it's not just slow for a regular race, it's slow for a special election race. The polls, however, are open until 8 p.m., so you still have some time to vote. And if you need to know where your polling place is, you can go to the Secretary of State's website. I'm Cynthia Needham for the Boston Globe.